Hi, this is your Hurricane Tracker video update for July 26th of 2011, recorded at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, we wanted to, to do a special video update. We do have a system uh, close to home here in the Northwest Caribbean Sea, which is classified as Invest 90L by the National Hurricane Center. And the Hurricane Center is giving the system a medium chance of developing within the next 48 hours and possibly uh, could end up even being into the high category as we get into later today as the system is showing signs of developing. So since the system is close to land we wanted to give you a special update today. Uh, here's a highlight of the system here in the Northwest Caribbean Sea. If any of you have been following this system you can tell it's definitely a lot better organized today. Uh, than over the past few days since it's been interacting with uh, Cuba and um, other islands there in the Caribbean Sea. Now if I put this in, in, into animation you can see there's a lot of convection and precipitation associated with this wave and you can start to see a little bit of counterclockwise spin there if you look closely and it does look like some outflow channels are starting to develop so all these are sh showing uh, definite signs that the system is starting to develop and over the next day or so the National Hurricane Center may in fact send out a reconnaissance aircraft to see if the system is developing. Now what are the computer models showing and who could potentially be affected? Well really anybody from Mobile, Alabama from this yellow line down the coast into northern Mexico to this yellow line should definitely keep an eye on the system to see what it does over the next couple of days since the system is generally moving in a west-northwest to northwesterly direction at the moment. Now anyone who lives from Morgan City, Louisiana south into northern Mexico, you do have a medium chance of being placed in the cone if it is if it does develop and even higher chances of being within a, tr a track cone from Matagorda uh, Texas down south to Brownsville, Texas. And if you can see, you see here between the two red lines we've indicated, this is where the most of the computer models want to bring the system into uh, later this week. Most of them between Brownsville and Corpus Christi, Texas. So if you're listening or watching this uh, video from South Texas, pay very close attention to the future developments of this tropical wave as it could develop and if it does it will have plenty of time over warm open water to strengthen and in fact I'll show you in a moment what one computer model is uh, forecasting for that part of Texas. So just a closer view if you live anywhere in this region from northern Mexico up the coast of south Texas even the middle to upper Texas coast and southwest Louisiana coast pay close attention to the system as we there is a good chance we could have a tropical storm or a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico sometime middle part of this week. Now one of the computer models is showing a uh, track towards the west-northwest in the south Texas and here's a closer view here showing a hurricane making landfall on July 30th between Brownsville and Corpus Christi as a fairly strong system. So again cannot emphasize enough if you live on the lower Texas coast Please pay, excuse me, please pay close attention to the uh, future developments of the system. Finally, what does the steering conditions look like? Well, there's currently high, strong high pressure here centered over North Texas. This is forecasted by the models to move to the east a little bit, and the clockwise flow underneath that high would open the door for the system to move generally towards the west-northwest towards South Texas. Now if you remember with Arlene, Arlene was a little further south and the high pressure was a little bit stronger and a little bit more to the south which pushed Arlene into the uh, Mexican coast. This time the setup is a little bit different. It looks like the storm will be able to move towards the west-northwest. Now there's a lot of uncertainties and factors at play. You know, One of the uncertainties is how strong is the high pressure, how far east does it move, how strong does the storm get. The stronger a tropical cyclone gets, the more poleward it wants to go because of the effects uh, of the earth that the earth has on the system. So uh, we'll definitely keep you updated all week and uh, we'll definitely post frequent video updates as conditions change and we'll make sure that uh, we keep anyone here living on the Gulf Coast updated. 
And uh, if you'd like a shorter version of the update, check out our audio update under the audio update section. Thanks so much for being a Hurricane Tracker customer and have a great day, everybody.